We have a great faculty, and we have it for many reasons. Traditions, libraries, laboratories, and outstanding students. This is Ernest May, an assistant professor and head tutor of the history department. Young men like Professor May, who are good enough to teach at Harvard, will usually be good enough to make more money doing something else if they choose. Here's what he says about his choice. What makes a teacher's life really rewarding is having uh, a first-rate library, a really questing group of students, and the time, as well as the opportunity, to answer these questions. And I can't believe that a teacher could be happier anywhere else than he can be at Harvard. Growing numbers of faculty members withdraw from Cambridge because of the increasing difficulty of finding suitable dwellings. A time may come, if we do nothing to prevent it, when most of the faculty will have become commuters, simply performing a job during formal working hours. This would not be Harvard, as most of us would have it. After his 40-minute trip to Lexington, Professor May is pretty well cut off from the Harvard community. There's only one thing wrong with this picture. It is in Lexington and not in Cambridge. In addition to housing for faculty members, we need more offices, preferably in the houses. When a professor works and holds office hours in a particular house, he's more likely to eat there. Such informal contacts can develop channels for the exchange of ideas.